Hello, welcome back to another episode of Helping Others, where our Bennett is interviewing Officer Garland. I'm Bennett, and today I will be interviewing Officer Garland. What's up, Bennett? How you doing, man? Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Officer Garland, do you care if I ask you some questions? Not at all. Go for it, man. How long have you been a police officer? Oh, man, I've been a police officer for a little over nine years, um, a little over 10 years, if you count the time I worked at our jail here. Um, I started at our county jail in 2012. I worked there for uh, about a year and a half. Um, I became a reserve police officer for the city in October of 2013, um, where basically you're a sworn police officer, but you only work a limited amount of time. You don't get paid for it, and you're just kind of learning the job. And then in January of 2014, um, I got hired on full time here with the city police. So I've been with the city police full time since uh, January 2014. Did you go to college or have any special training? So I did not go to college other than I did a um, one night class of English Comp 101. Um, Our department currently does not require that you have a degree. But uh, there are some departments out there that do require you have some some college. Um, and I foresee that becoming more common as time goes on. Um, but once you get hired um, within your first year of being a police officer, you'll have to go to the Indiana Law Enforcement Academy, um, which is up in Plainfield, Indiana. It's up by Indianapolis. Um, whenever I went through, it was 16 weeks long. So it's four months long where you stay the night up there. Uh, You have to be there all week long and you're in training all day. And um, then you come home on the weekend. So I did that back in 2014. Why did you want to become a police officer? I wanted to become a police officer because I like to help people. Um, And a big motivation for me is I've seen over my lifetime what, uh, what drug illegal drugs can do to people and to families. And, um, that's always been kind of what's strong in my heart to try to help, uh, prevent that and do anything I can to, um, to try to fight against that and try to try to help people out with that. And, and by helping them out, if we get it off the streets, it's not available for them to have. So that's, that's my biggest motivation as a police officer. Why did, what is your favorite part of your job? So my favorite part of the job kind of goes in with uh, why I became a police officer. Um, Over my career, I've seen a lot, a lot of people that I've had to deal with on their worst days um, and where, you know, I've even had to arrest them um, for like drug related charges and and they've gone to jail and whatnot, but they get out and they get their lives back together. They get their families back, they get jobs, they get their own places and they Um, become living a or they start living a healthy lifestyle and so seeing that seeing people be at their worst and get their life back together um that's that's most rewarding uh part of the job knowing that you get to play a little role in helping people do that thank you you're welcome as a child in elementary school who was your ace an ace is an adult that helped you most in life um so in elementary you know i've had a lot of adults throughout my life um, that have helped me in different ways um and this is something i kind of talked about with high school students yesterday you know sometimes all it takes is having some people to believe in you um so as i became a young adult and going through life i had a lot of those but i would say throughout elementary and stuff like that um you know i had four parents i had a um, a mom and dad and a stepmom and a stepdad and um they all as i was growing up were huge um support system for me teaching me right from wrong and how to be um a good kid i'd say and uh i would have to say my biggest uh what says ace of hearts your anchor i would say was probably my mom what is your dream job um, and if you want me to touch on some of the other aces, ace of clubs, where it says it's a, another caring adult, my uncle Mitch, um, he was my mom's brother or he is my mom's brother. 
you know, he was a, a really good influence on me at, when I was a, in elementary school. Um, Ace of Spades, which I think says here, holds you to high expectations. Um, I would definitely say my stepdad did that. Um, you know, he always taught me, you know, if you're going to do something, do it right. And if you start a job, finish it. Those are just a couple things that he taught me that, I, that I've always remembered um, growing up. Um, and Ace of Diamonds uh, providing you with opportunities to succeed. I'd say all four of my parents uh, helped me to do that. Sorry, what was your other question? What is your dream job? My dream job, um, I would say I'm working it right now. This is uh, my dream job. Um, my mom pulled out a sheet um, that I wrote down many, many years ago of what my dream jobs were. And one was to sell um, cars, like fancy cars, and to be a police officer. Um, I was a car salesman for five years before now, and uh, now I'm a police officer. So I'm, I'm living my dream job right now, bud. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? I do. So your teacher said that you want to be a police officer. Why do you want to be a police officer? Because I feel like I could help out a lot in the world. Yeah, that's good, man. That's what we need. And, and we need people here in Washington that want to be a police officer because, you know, this profession, you know, it's not something that everybody wants to do anymore. Um, like it used to be. So yeah, if, if you want to do it, I'd say, you know, keep chasing your dream and, and prepare yourself to do that. We would, we'd love, we would love to have you here at Washington police department one day. Thank you for letting me interview you today. No problem. Do you have any other questions? Did I do all right? Yes. I thought you did really good. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. See Bye you. guys. See you in baseball. See ya. Wow, that was such a great interview. Thank you, Officer Garland, for your time. And Bennett, you did a great job.